Hey, good morning to you. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Golly, gorgeous day sitting out here on the porch, enjoying the blessings of God, realizing it's great to be healed. It's great for my bills to be paid. God is a good God, but I have to take authority over these things because Jesus is Lord, but I have to decree it. The Bible says in Job, decree a thing and it, that thing that you decreed, shall be established unto you. See, the word works, but we were destroyed, Hosea 4, 6, for a lack of knowledge. The average Christian has no idea what he's been given, his authority, what he can and cannot do, and receiving from God. But hey, I'm helping you get it out of the word so that you can get it. Now, let me read over here out of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. I want you to get this. Jesus, and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, watch, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. You see, when he called them, he gave them authority. He gave them power. Go back to Genesis chapter 1. I believe it was chapter 2. God made man in the, his image. So I'm made in the image of God. You're made in the image of God. And he gave you a dominion over everything. So we have dominion, but we were taught by the church that we just had to put up with a bunch of stuff and there wasn't nothing we could do about it. And because of that, we were destroyed. I remember that old song when I was a teenager, you know, cast it off, set it off, whatever will be, will be. Like you can't change nothing. No, the choice is yours. God said, I've set before you life and death. Blessings are cursings, therefore choose life. Choose. The choice is yours. You don't have to put up with the yuck that the devil's telling you you got to have. So let me read some of these verses to you. Romans chapter 5, verse 17. Love this verse. I mean, this is one of the best verses in the Bible. If any man's offense, because of one man's offense, death reigned by one, that is what uh, Adam did, the first Adam, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus. What's that term there? Shall reign. Reign means to rule. Let me just read that to you again. So powerful. Uh, Romans 5, 17. I might have said Second Corinthians. Romans 5, 17. For if one man's what Adam did. For if by one man's offense, death reigned by one, much more. Somebody say much more. <laughs> I like it. Much more. Much more. They which receive the abundance of grace, which I have and you have, if you're a believer, and of the gift of righteousness, which I am the righteousness of God. Somebody said, you don't act righteous. Well, not based on my goodness or the way I act, based on what Jesus did. And he never committed any sin. He never committed any unrighteousness. And I never really committed any righteousness, but we exchange places and it's a gift. The gift of righteousness shall reign. That's R-E-I-G-N, reign. Rule. Shall reign. Where? In life. By one, that is Jesus Christ. So we rule, we reign, we take charge. Now, look at 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. Now ye are full. I love that. Now you are full. Now you are rich. You have reigned as kings without us, and I would to God that you did reign. That's what Paul was writing. That we are also might reign with you. Rule. Let me just see if I can take that a minute. We've been made kings and priests unto God. I'll show you that one tomorrow. But kings rule. They reign. They don't sit around and do what the people tell them to do. They don't sit around and, and let the circumstances rule them. A king rules. Well, I'm a king. I rule. I rule in my life. I do not allow sickness, poverty, debt, uh, all that junk to come on me. <clears throat> I'm going somewhere with that. I did not get the coronavirus. I will not get the coronavirus. I did not get cancer. I will not get cancer because Psalm 91 says, No plague shall come nigh my dwelling. Well, this is my dwelling. This is my body. I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God, and I'm with Him, and I'm not going to have sickness, disease, flu, cold, emphysema, uh, you know, heart failure, none of that. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to somebody else, and I rule, and I choose that I don't have that. Somebody says, Well, you awful bold. Yes, I am. 
And we, we have to be, if we're going to live what, the way God wants us to live. So I rule, I reign, and I make a choice that I don't have these things. Well, I said I, don't, I make a choice also that I'm not going to be in poverty. I, I rule over lack, and I tell lack, you get out of here. I'm not going to put up with that. I'm not going to have no lack. I'm not going to do without. Then I also said that I don't have any debt. Now, I made a decision just, oh, well, one day last week might have been yesterday. Um, man, I, I mean, I'm, I'm wanting a new vehicle real bad. I need a new vehicle. Though. Everything I got has got 300,000 miles on it or close to it. And I, I thought, I'll just go in there, bless God, and buy me that new pickup truck. You know, I can make that $850 payment for the rest of my life. Well, maybe not the rest of my life, but for the next six or seven years. And I can do that. I can. I mean, you know, I've got that much money. I can do that, and I would really enjoy that pickup truck. But listen, I've made a decision. I'm not going to be in debt. Hey, y'all hadn't got that. Jesus paid for everything that I have, and my God supplies my needs according to his riches and glory, and I've made a decision that debt doesn't belong to me, and even though I can go in debt, and even though I can sign on the dotted line, and I have excellent credit and all that, I've just decided I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to believe God pay for it, or believe God, you know, it just shows up in my yard. I'm just telling you, that decision that I'm not going to have to do it the world's way means that I rule and I reign in life and I don't have to put up with a yuck and all the stuff that the rest of the world's putting up with. Hey, I'll come back to this tomorrow. But until I'm with you tomorrow, work on it. Excuse me. You're the one that's in charge. You are a king. And kings reign. They rule. And they don't put up stuff. Got to go, saints. Have a great day. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.